Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance and I hope you're doing well. We're going to get into the weekly energies for cancer. Guys, thank you all so much for your likes, your shares, comments, and subscribes. I appreciate it so much. I do. It helps the channel. It helps the message get out to more people, and it does make me feel good. So please continue to do so. If you need to book a personal, the information is provided along with links to my other platforms for additional content and other services I provide. Um, you can also check out my Earth Still in Stone uh, store. That link is there also. I'm still getting it together, still growing it, but it does not mean I wasn't supposed to just go ahead and listen to God and just, you know, not be my, it having to be perfect, perfect self. So we're going on a journey and y'all coming with me. So cancers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Um, your channel song for this week. Mike stepping up strong today. So we have uh, Michael Jackson, You Are Not Alone. Cancer, don't you dare feel like you're doing anything by yourself, ever. You have, first and foremost, you have God with you at all times. You may feel uncomfortable and feel like you're talking to yourself. You're not talking to yourself. You're talking to the Most High. You are talking to your Creator. You are talking to the Giver of Life. You are talking to the reason why you are sucking wind and listening to this, um, this message today. So don't ever feel like you are alone. Never feel like you are alone, especially when... Um, you may be, you know, taking a leap of faith and stepping out and doing some things, you know, on your solo dolo stuff, okay? But never feel like you're alone because even if you are doing things by yourself, your passed on loved ones, you know, your ancestors, your guides, um, your higher power, your higher self, they're all there. Um, even if those loved ones have passed on, those ancestors have passed on, you're not alone in that you still have their love. You still have the things that they taught you. You still have the memories. You still, for some of you, you still have um, their features. And you can look at yourself in the mirror and say, hey, I got my mama's nose or I have my dad's eyes. I may have my, my auntie's ears. Whatever that is, you still have that love there with you. So you're not alone. If you need to um, reach out and speak to someone, do so. Get with someone that you trust. Get with someone that you know um, isn't going to bullshit you. And speak. And allow yourself to be poured into, allow yourself to be spoken into, allow love. Okay? That's what that's that's our, that's your goal for this week. Okay, Cancer? Allow love. Okay? TT Music Oracle messages for cancer for this week. Alright, so very well this is what we're doing opposites attract by paula abdul my first love by avant featuring kiki wyatt baby you caught my eye mint condition keys to imagination by yanni level up by sierra teach me by Music Soul Child and under the deck we have Yearning for Your Love by The Gap Band. Cancer, you are loved. You are loved even if it is not shown in physical action or deed. Know that you are loved. Know that you are prayed for. Know that you are covered. Okay? 
Just know this. Start walking like it. Start walking and talking like your passed on loved ones, the ones that you know had your back. Walk as if they are walking right next to you, right beside you, not behind you, but they're walking with you. Put your head up, throw your head back and say that you are loved and believe that. Look in the mirror and tell yourself, I am loved. Love on somebody, Cancer. If you are not feeling love from the outside world, from those that you want to feel love from, go pour some love on somebody else and, and see what happens. Go pour some love on someone else that you know is... Um, feeling, I'm hearing, and I don't use this term, but someone who is feeling down in the dumps, you know, um, is not feeling, you know, their 100. Go pour some love onto them. And pouring love doesn't necessarily mean, you know, you having to be physically in their presence. You could shoot a text message or, um, say a prayer you can um write a letter people don't do that anymore think that's something that is personal that is something that it takes time to do doing that showing love brings love back into you it may not be from the place and space person that you sewed it into that you gave it to but God will say okay so you're putting this out I am going to send this to you it is an equal energetic exchange from the universe it is an equal energetic exchange from divine from God see know and recognize where love is coming in it doesn't necessarily, and it's not always going to come back to you from where you sow it or how you sow it. The thing is, is just realizing and recognizing where love is, what love is. Okay? Cancer, you... Oh, hold on. You're doing the, the complete opposite of what you've been told. Or it's coming across as you're doing the opposite. But in, in actuality, those, those opposites, quote unquote, are, are coming together. Okay? It's very much coming together. Their opposites are usually on, you know, we're all on the same spectrum. It's just... Um, different levels of understanding different experiences it's the same spectrum Spectrum is just allowing yourself to come and meet in the middle a common ground okay some kind of common ground uh, using your ability to manifest realizing your ability to manifest first of all is what's going to be the key in turning things around for you how you want them um opening yourself up and realizing that you are not always the teacher okay and opening yourself up and realizing that you're not always the student you're not always going to be on the receiving end sometimes you're going to have to give something um, and sow seed into something in order for you to reap a harvest and again being mindful that where you sow is not always where you will reap
higher perspectives, higher levels of understanding, teaching yourself to, um, for some of you, it's learning to nurture your inner child, learning to nurture and love on that, um, that place and space that was hurt and broken. You may be, you know, full-fledged adult, okay? You can be full-fledged adult. However, and, and I mean full-fledged adult as in you are 50, 60, 70, 80 years old. Adult. And you still have things that are on the inside of you that need to be nurtured, that need to be healed. That within itself is your opposite. You healing your, your inner child as an adult giving to yourself what you wish that you received from those who were um, uh, were your nurturers, your caregivers. But you learning to do that, you learning to nurture yourself, teaches you how to not only love yourself, but also teaches you how to love others. All right? Cancer. Interesting. There's been a pause, but we're getting ready to push play. All right. Yeah, for some of you, this is feeling left out in the cold. We have the five of um, five of pentacles. This is um, in the psychic tarot deck. Financial, material, financial and material changes. And then we have, hello, card number nine, material harvest. So you sowing into yourself, you sowing into um, um, a place and space of feeling, you know, left out in the cold. No more. Not doing that anymore because you have learned a level of respect for yourself and a level of understanding and caring and providing and knowing that you are cared and provided for and being grateful. Gratitude and grace will get you further in life than anything I have ever seen or experienced. This is for me from um, this is from TT to you. A level of gratitude for the little opens up possibilities for, for even much more than you even thought possible. Okay? Under the deck, we have card number six, and this is moving on. This is the six of swords. This is coming out of the dark, moving yourself out of a deep dark place and seeing light going towards the light going towards um calmer and smoother waters calmer and smoother um levels of understanding calmer and smoother emotions and seeing things thinking about things in a higher light in a higher understanding in a way that is more nurturing for your future. I like this. I like this a lot, Cancer. This is you taking the reins, taking charge, allowing God. Here we go. This is you. Card number 18, the moon. Cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, the messenger of air. This is um, the knight of swords. And hello, hello, hello. Card number three, the Empress. Whatever these deep depths, deep feelings, things that were um, under the surface, things that were um, seen but not in full focus are being spoken to, are being communicated so that there is growth 
there is transition there is understanding um speaking to the depth of something or someone all right getting to the core of something getting to the heart of it and speaking your truth um for some of you this you know may be a bit confrontational but it is still from a place of understanding and from a place of love and truth um pentacles for me especially when it's the nine of pentacles or the nine of um this material harvest it's not just about um finances it's about feeling safe secure protected and uh stable you doing so you bringing yourself out of this lack mentality lack mindset of feeling like you are alone communicating saying words getting to the heart of something changes the heart of it okay changes the emotions and the feelings of something and it allows you to um, develop better understanding better communication all right under the deck we have the um, page of earth page of pentacles something new that you started that it's um very young in its beginning stages um but you are very much taking again i'm getting this energy of taking the reins and moving forward and what you were hesitant to move towards you are once you make the decision to do so things take off for you very very quickly and it catapults you into the place and space that you want to be because you've worked on this inner understanding this inner healing this um these small baby steps for yourself There's that opposites attract thing. This going from um, not having enough, not feeling enough, not doing enough to uh, being completely and 100% in the energy of enough and abundance. Okay? all right we have the energy is gaining momentum y'all i promise you i'm pulling cards i am <laughs> just being obedient and doing what i'm told and giving you what i get waxing moon the energy is gaining momentum what you've started what you've begun what you have um taken interest in and started working on it's going to pick up speed and it's going to expand under the deck we have surrender to the divine full moon yeah surrendering those subconscious and unconscious thoughts and thinking that small um small thinking but um there's a level of um humility there's a level of humility for some of us you know we have to be you know brought down a peg or two because we get in our ego and in god doing that doesn't mean it's it reminds me of the um the story of job where you know job was abundant he had everything he needed he had everything he wanted he was you know he was wealthy he was rich he had you know the material uh world on lock 
He had, you know, abundance of, of children and cattle and money. He had everything he needed, a wife, everything. God sent him a test and allowed everything that he loved, everything that was external to him to be taken away, even his physical health. All of that. And, you know, people were coming and talking to him and saying, why don't you just curse God and, you know, and die and just move on or whatever. And Job said, no. Don't, uh uh, no. If I have nothing else, I have my connection with God. And that is more, means more to me. And is more fulfilling to me, even without all of the external trappings and, and wrappings of wealth. That's, I mean, good grief. Hello. Being in that place of understanding that even when everything and every even his wife was telling him he didn't lose his wife but he did lose all of his children and his cattle all of his materials he lost all of that and even in the the midst of that loss and despair and feeling of being you know you know he could have you know possibly felt like he was alone he still knew that his connection to God was all of the wealth and the abundance that he needed once the test was over once he passed the test God blessed him yet again double for his trouble because he kept the faith in, and not keeping the faith in you know, well, God willed it, so it is what it is. No, it's, God, you're taking me through this for a reason. It may hurt right now, but I trust you. I trust you, and I believe that this is happening for a reason. It's happening for a reason. Or it happened for a reason. And sowing the seed of that reason sowing the seed of you know letting go and walking away from things that um were that once brought you the level of abundance or a certain level of status letting that go for a time however long that time has been the opposite is now going to be true because you've sown the seed and you believe it. You know that, all right, this I got to put this work in. I got to do this. It started from, you know, started from the bottom. Now we here. All right. Come on through, Drake. All right. For some of you cancers, there's a conversation that needs to be had with, uh, with someone and you are you might be a little nervous about it but it's going to be clarity you're going to do so from a place of love and you doing so from a place of love the other person the other energy that you're speaking to they they're going to do what they do be they get you know mad or you know this brings in a level of clarity and understanding whatever that is it's not on you it is on you to be true and be clear and speak uh your truth all right and you doing so again there's that level up There is that level up. I like it. It's getting better. Gaining momentum. Because you surrendered to God. 
understand that I, I keep hearing this I've been hearing this for a couple of weeks now okay cancer give to God what is God's and give to Caesar what is Caesar's whatever this earthly realm requires of you allow it let it be you don't have any control over it but whatever it goes to God whatever you sow in that it that belongs to God which is your soul your spirit your heart your consciousness give that to God and God in turn will cause your enemies to flee allow you to um, expand in your territory and your understanding in whatever it is that you want It's the trust and the faith that God wants. How I like this, we have um, card number 57, Squirrel Spirit, Believe in Yourself. Um, there's Journey, Don't Stop Believing. <laughs> and uh, card number 19, Dog Spirit, Be Loyal to What You Love. Look good. Did all that was just speaking for itself under the deck we have card number 68 wombat spirit be at home home does not necessarily mean a particular place or space state does not necessarily mean that it means a place that is nurturing that is that you feel protected where you feel safe you being at home and nurturing that the little things the small things and moving towards um, things that are um, of love and light that are of high energy and high frequency moves you into this new level of understanding and new level of abundance i like this this is it's much much better much better guidance for cancer for this week guidance for cancers for this week all right we have earth pulsing pulse of the mother slow down time in nature this time in nature for me is allowing your spirit to be rejuvenated wherever this place of home is earth is your home wherever wherever you are on earth wherever you feel loved wherever you feel protected and safe wherever you feel guided to that's home okay um for some of you this is healing mother energies healing mother um motherly issues um that's what this moon energy is feminine energy mother energy okay um this could be you healing yourself and you healing yourself you speaking positivity to yourself telling yourself hey get your shit together allows you to elevate in the earthly realm i hope that makes sense under the deck we have child of the cosmos hello <laughs> the intelligence of the universe lies within you you recognizing that god is always within as well as without you recognizing and understanding that you are god's child you are god's chosen you are loved by god and you are never alone opens up a level of understanding and a level of um, safety protection and abundance that you did not um, previously know or you did not previously know was there okay eyes are being opened things doors are being opened as you move forward as you move on okay 
All right, I'm going to leave it there. The energies and signs that you could possibly be dealing with at this time. We have um, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, big emphasis on Taurus. We have air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, big emphasis on Libra. Uh, you could also be dealing with another Cancer. All right. Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo. All right. All right, Nuggets, I love you. I love you from my soul, and I send you all blessings and light. Take care.